I'm Michael Choi. Today's video is dedicated towards the five secrets to motivation. It's something that we all struggle with. Um, it's in fact the motivation is the recipe to success. You stay motivated and hey presto everything else happens because motivation will give you the work ethic to do what you need to do to become successful in this game, in this industry. So these are the five things that have been found to be the secrets to motivation. Now, some of these things you might think aren't in your control, but in fact all of these are in your control. Maybe not to a greater degree, but they still are in your control. So recognition and praise, you might say, Michael, if no one gives me recognition and praise, then what can I do about that? The simple, you can move office. It's simple as that. So it is in your control. So there's a lot of things in, in, in our life where we think we're not in control, but it, you need to find an office that gives you rec recognition and praise. What I've found with this is, if you give praise to someone, you pat someone else on the back, the likelihood is when you're doing something awesome, they're, all, they're going to uh, reciprocate that and they'll give you a pat on the back too. Okay, so huge, we need, we need, we're human, we need to feel the love. All right, so, so that's really important. Surround you, yourself with awesome people that are going to pat you on the back. Challenging. Uh, a lot of reasons why people leave a business is because they're not stimulated. They're just not stimulated. They feel like they're not getting anywhere, that it's monotonous. Um, and and the, the, the ingredient to, to mixing it up is actually making you, your work challenging, knowing your limits, or not so much limits, but know what you're capable at that time know your capabilities for the time that you're in it in life, for that stage in life, and just go slightly above. And you'll find that you'll, you'll rise to the occasion and then you can slowly push yourself again, rise to the occasion, slowly push yourself again, rise to the occasion. And that's what great business owners and managers are good at. They're good at seeing people's abilities for that current time and just setting them a standard just slightly above it. That person reaches it, sets it slightly above it. So I suppose once again, that's about surrounding yourself with um, people that uh, can see that and hold you accountable and uh, uh, give you benchmarks uh, to, to rise to. So, but keeping your work challenging. So find um, so there's some things in your, in your, in your business uh, you might not like doing because they're hard. I suggest do those things because that's what's actually going to make your real estate uh, career interesting. Because they're hard, they challenge you, so it'll, it'll be better off. So, interesting. I, I, I kind of touched on that with the challenging. But what interests you? So you need to do this, this certain activities that we need to um, do, for example, prospecting, open for inspections, um, calling buyers back. There's um, vendor meetings, vendor reports. There's, there's so many things that I suppose we can't get away from. They need to happen. They're in your ideal week that they need to happen for you to be in real estate and for real estate to work uh, for, for, for life for you. And the, concept, the, the thing is, is about making those things interesting. So there's many ways to skin a cat. Um, if you don't like uh, telephone prospecting, you can do face-to-face prospecting. You could, uh, rather than doing door knocking, if you don't find that interesting, you could just chill out at a cafe all day and prospect that way. Uh, walk the dog, that could be prospecting. Creating these big networking functions, that could be something that interests you. So there's so many, there's, you've got to find what interests you and then somehow figure out how you can put that into what you need to do in your ideal week. Okay, so there's many ways to skin, uh, to, to skin a cat. You don't just need to um, do the conventional ways. Find out what's interesting to you and you'll find that that will stimulate you and you'll want to do those um, certain tasks uh, that, that, that better your career. Development paths. Okay, so speak to your manager and say, hey, I need some development paths. I need to I go. I need to feel like I'm, I'm growing. So, um, you know, what development paths can you give me? Sometimes managers don't know that you want a development path, but in reality, most of us do want a uh, development path. And so talk to them. Um, they might not be a mind reader, but secondly, create your own development paths. You are your own boss, okay? And so whether it be giving yourself a new farm area, um, giving yourself a pay rise, um, taking on a leadership role uh, within the business, saying, um, putting someone underneath your wing and teaching them. This, th these are development paths that you can choose for yourself. You, you, you won't need permission to do those certain things, okay? Uh, ownership and responsibility. This is an interesting one because a key to success is delegation. 
You know, only do the dollar productive things. You don't need to do certain things. And I agree with that 100%. For example, database entry. Uh, a sales consultant should never be doing database uh, entry. Never, never, never. They should have someone that does that for them. And they need to work on the things that are dollar productive. Um, but certain projects that you might have, if you don't um, own the whole thing, if, you don't, if you're not involved and responsible for the whole project, you won't own it. And if you don't own it, you won't be motivated to uh, be part of that project. You just feel like you're just um, touching on certain points. And so that's where sometimes the assembly line uh, concept of you put, your job is just to put this in the box, put this in the box, your job is to sticky tape this on the box, your job is to put the sticker on the box. That's where, that can, that's where people lose their motivation because they're not responsible for the whole. It might be um, effective and efficient to do it that way, but it's not stimulating to you. For those type of jobs, you'll see high turnover. Whereas a slower way to do it would be to be responsible for the whole thing. But I tell you what, that person stays in because you know, they're creating a baby. They're, they're involved in the whole thing. They own it. So they're the five secrets to motivation. Um, and we are all in control of all of those things. No matter what part of the business we're in, we're in control of it. And I hope that helps. Take care.